What is going on everyone and welcome back to episode 19 of my Undaunted Key opening series. So this week we have 32 keys and we're going to be going for two things that come out of the same chest. We want uh, Divines, Groththar and Heavy and Alambris in Divines. Hello there. So just as a little recap, if you are new to the channel, haven't watched the other 18 parts, I have spent over 500 keys and I still to this day have never gotten a... Um, heavy Divines Grothar shoulders. I've gotten infused, but I wanted Divines because I have a light and medium Divines one, but I can't get the heavy one. And another one we want is a Lambris. I actually don't even have any pieces on me in the bank. So anyway, that's what we're going to be going for. Preferably Divines. And yeah, let's start off. It comes from Galarian's chest. 32 keys. I have a good feeling about this. Good luck. Let's go. Oh, we're starting off with a light prosperous. That's like the opposite of what I want entirely. Alright. April Fools is over. Let's go. Storm fist. Oh, we got starting off really poorly with two prosperous. We still have 30 keys, so I have I have faith. Training and prosperous so far. Today maybe is not the greatest day to be doing this, but YOLO. Dude, April Fools is actually over though. What is this? Prosperous training, prosperous, prosperous. All right, Zoss, I will buy a crown crate if you give me a heavy divines, a Lambris or Grothar. Of course not. You give me a Grothar, but it's it's light. Come on, one time. Lambris, Grothar, divines. Oh, that's a medium. What could it possibly be? Whoop, impenetrable. That's actually not super bad, but it could be better. Impenetrable is only good for PvP because in PvE situations, enemies do not crit. And the only places people crit are in PvP. So, yeah. People still do use Grothdar, so that could be good, but I personally don't think I'll ever use it. I start Pauldron. Oh, reinforced. That is not that great. We have 25 keys left. We're getting hot garbage so far. I still have hope. Falcon Scoria Arm Cops. That's medium. Training. Well fitted. You know, last time, if I remember correctly, we got maybe like one Divine's piece. And that was in like 30 keys. And Ice Heart is hard. Horrendous. We do not want that ever. Stormfist medium? Impenetrable. Stormfist, I've seen people use it, but I don't really think it's that good. Celestrix is the Arx Carinium one, I believe. And I don't really think that's ever good. Troll King, that's a healer set, but I still don't see many healers using it because they don't use monster sets. Uh, we got an Infernal Guardians, Divines. Too bad the set is terrible. Another impenetrable Narayaneth piece. That, I think, used to be good back in the day. Not anymore, though. Troll King Sturdy. Ha, ha, ha. No. No. Alright, 15 keys left. What could possibly go wrong? Heavy Divines of Lambrus? Or we can get Prosperous. That also works. No big deal, right? Celestrix. I know a Lambris comes from this chest, but we just haven't got any. I don't know why. I think the drop rate is lower than usual. This These chests are giving me all impenetrable. It's like they're telling me, you should go PvP because we hate you. Sleep. What? What? Tremor skill? I've seen people use it on DPS and tank for some reason, but I just don't think it's good. They're just better sets out there. Let's see, we have 10 keys left. Okay, let's go. Or we can, you know, get another Storm Fist shoulder piece. I am convinced we got five of them. We've gotten four of these. We haven't gotten any Alambris. 
We've gotten two Grothar. I swear Grothar and the Lambers have the lowest drop rate. It's weird. It seems awfully rigged. What is this? Why you do this game? At least we're getting gold out of it too, right? You get like a hundred gold out of each Grothar. Oh, we got a Divine's Light. Haha, <laughs> I already have one. Alright. You know, actually... I was actually happy the first time I got my first uh, Grothar... Where did it even go? Did I even take it out of the chest? No, apparently I didn't. Like, I was actually super happy the first time I got a Divine's Piece. And then, later on, the more you play, you actually realize getting a light one is kind of bad. But, like, obviously, if you don't have anything else, obviously, use it. But, um, <clears throat> in terms of undaunted passives, you won't get the extra bonuses from using a light shoulder. So, ideally, you want a medium and heavy to get the ninth, or, where is it? Uh, undaunted. If you have it at nine, you get this. And you just get additional bonuses. This is mostly for magic characters. Stam, I would say, either seven or whatever is fine. Troll King, sturdy again. Pretty wait, don't I have two sturdy ones? You have a medium and a light sturdy. Yeah, five keys left. Oh, a Lambrus. That's the first one in like twenty-six keys. And it's light, so it's actually bad. So it doesn't even matter what it is. Oh, it's reinforced. I just want you guys to know this is my RNG on a regular basis. Wow. I'm pretty sure Impenetrable and Infused are actually more common than everything else. If you're going to give me a Lambrus, at least not give me a light piece. All right, game. The trolling is over. I only have two keys left. <laughs> All right, Zoss. If you, if this key gives me a divines, you know what? I'll just say divines anything. I'll buy a crown crate. Of course not. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go decon it and yeah, so one second. So I don't know how much the material prices cost on console or if you are like on the EU server, but uh, things are actually going down in price due to the anniversary event. So when you do something, you get like a box and that box comes with like motifs and whatnot. Occasionally. So anyway, let's see. Do we have anything to research? We have six, which one probably divine. Oh, I actually don't want it. If I wanted light, what is the best thing I'd get? Yeah, it is probably divine. So I'm just gonna, you know, get rid of that. All right. So this is about a week's worth of dungeons. It's going down the drain. At least we're getting elegant lining, which isn't actually that rare. You. They kind of don't. Very inexpensive. The elegant lining is like 100 gold a piece, but then the grain solvent, which is the heavy purple material, is actually pretty expensive. Like 600 gold for some reason. I think it's just in general um, that the everything blacksmithing, like these thingies and the tempering allies, of course, are expensive. So let's get rid of this. At least we're getting grain solvents. So, like, I wanted to show you. Grain solvents right here are, like, 580 gold a piece. Whereas the clothing elegant linings are 150. That's kind of odd. But, yeah. Overall, that's been the unboxing video for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Before I head out, I wanted to say that if you are looking for a guild, this is mostly for subscribers and people who are learning to do dungeons or late game content. Feel free to send me a message in-game. This is my guild. I run it. Um, recently, I started reforming the guild, which means kicking a lot of inactives. And we're going to start doing a lot of dungeons, trials, end-game stuff. And as well as you guys can play with each other if I'm not on and just help each other make new friends and all this stuff. So this is a lot of...
people from uh, the YouTube or Twitch channel who are like watching me for some reason. And um, if you are playing on the PC North American server, feel free to send me a message in game. Here's my at name. And the way it works is essentially when you get in, pretty much it's an open guild. The more you do with the guild, get promoted by doing stuff, get demoted by not doing stuff, you get put into ranks, you can play with each other. And then um, by Morrowind, I plan on having a larger guild where everyone's going to try to learn the new trial. So if you are hoping to do that, um, that's kind of what I want as well. So like if I one day just need people for a dungeon or trial, I'll just be like, hey, who wants to go? And then there you guys are in the guild. But yeah, anyway, we have a team discord. You, anyone is free to join this one. Uh, it's right here. And that one is just whatever. But uh, if you are actually interested in end game content, dungeons, trials, or just you want to join, feel free to send me a message in game. There are like no requirements for it, but if you want to do the late game stuff, uh, definitely let me know that as well. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.